Hello, Ambassador Gemini, and welcome now to Wednesday. Cloudy, introverted, and passionate about ideas. The moon is in Aquarius, so you are self-reflective big time today. Those dual processors are really taking off. This is a day of reflecting, thinking, processing. This might make you extremely opinionated and argumentative about something that you know. You might find yourself trying to convince the world that you're right. You might find yourself super hungry to find out information. You may be in a very good book and just can't get out of the book. You are passionate about growing and learning. And you are growing and learning. This is the monthly self-reflective emotional growth uh, transit. So you might be replaying old conversations you've had with people, walking around the house going, I wonder why. That's what this is about. This is a reflective. This is a day where I tend to space out and stare out the window. But there is a lesson from your emotions today, and it deals with the sun. We're in chapter two of Sun in Pisces. As you know, the Geminis are working on their career, their legacy, and their control issues this month. That's the topic. So today, your emotions, the moon, is the ruling planet. So what are your theories about career legacy? How do you feel what you need, you know, what do you feel you need to know when it comes to career legacy? Your emotions are giving you information of how your beliefs and how your emotions play into your career legacy. Maybe you're very passionate about the way your career should be, but you're not paying attention to the way your career is. All right? Maybe you're not really paying attention to the facts. But look at what you believe and how you feel about it and how that is playing into or taking away from career opportunity. And really here in Chapter 2, we want to experiment with the right attitude, the right belief, the right everything to manifest or light cast that career legacy you're looking for. So today's a good clue. Here's some interesting things, though. Venus just hopped over into Aquarius in the last 24 hours. Venus is the creation vibration, brings love and creativity to a state of awareness. In your case, love and creativity is on its way to what you believe. So this is a great time to plan a trip. This is a great time to plan education, to take a class. This is a great time to uh, get deep on some sort of a belief structure. This is a great time to reprogram what you believe as far as life is concerned. This is a good brain anti-brainwashing or pro uh, brainwashing uh, time for yourself and this is a time really to be creative about what you know so excellent learning period for the next 30 days excellent time to plan those things I mentioned take advantage of Venus it's only here once a year and it's Wednesday we have Skip Jannings Urban Mystic live today today's gonna talk about two interesting facets of the Pisces vibration the dream realm how Pisces and dreams play into one another and our ancient wisdom we have ancient wisdom that comes to the Pisces vibration Gemini's channel ancient wisdom in their careers. You maybe not know it, but your career now and your legacy now is probably a reflection of things you've done in past lives. But it's an interesting topic. See what Skip has to say, along with an affirmation in the seven-day challenge. Skip is live everywhere. Our garden blooms. All right, Ambassador, that wraps up today. Tomorrow, you will be incredibly intuitive at finding the right answer to something. Until tomorrow, live, love, be. So garden. Done.